Hey you guys, it's me again, MJ. I'm out of the water and ready for some more artwork. Let's get started. I'm drawing fan art today. So rare when I do these, I know, and I think it's fitting that the first in a while will be of Moroha because I love Inuyasha. This video is a short one, so I will be brief, but let me tell you about Inuyasha and how it impacted my life. If there is anything to blame for my art career, it's Inuyasha and mermaids, but we're talking about Inuyasha today. Um, I would watch Inuyasha every chance I got when I was six years old and up. I, I, it was the first anime I was ever introduced to, and Inuyasha was my first real crush ever. I started imagining myself in the feudal era with him and the others and started drawing myself with them, went down the fanfiction road, the whole bit. I was hugely into it. I got front bangs because all the characters had them. I even told new people I met that my name was Kagome or Sango or something, and even got into archery for a little while. Um, the cast were even my imaginary friends until I was like 11 or 12 years old. I would waste film on my disposable cameras, remember those? And just taking pictures of the, my only Kikyo figure that I bought at a comic shop. And back then, finding stuff like that was next to impossible, so it was like the happiest day of my life as a kid. And I didn't even like Kikyo that much. I was just happy to own my first and only piece of Inuyasha merch. My fan art and fiction went all the way until I was like 17 in high school. Maybe older. Maybe just not as consistent, but consistent until I was like 17. I know, so embarrassing. But it was a big part of my childhood, and it has influenced a lot of my interests and creative choices as an artist. It's actually very noticeable. And, um, Inuyasha is still so precious to me, a husband who I still rave about with friends, and I don't think that'll ever change. It's part of me, so I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Fast forward to today, the sequel Yashihime is okay, I don't love it, in fact I say it's a, it's kind of a bad show in my personal opinion. However, one thing I was sure they'd, got, they'd get wrong was Moroha, Inuyasha's daughter. I thought that, you know, oh this is just a cash grab for nostalgic purposes, you know, to for, for adults who watch the show as a kid, like, they're gonna see this, you know, to, you know that, that sort of thing. But to my surprise, they nailed her. I think she's a fantastic character and very accurate to what I think Inuyasha's daughter would be like. She was the only thing that was able to keep my attention long enough to complete the first season of the show, and I will likely watch the next one, just to see how her story goes. So of course I had to draw her at some point. So here she is. Um, do you like Inuyasha? Have you watched Yashihime? Who's your favorite character in the whole universe? Why? Tell me about it in the comments. If you've never watched Inuyasha, I highly recommend you do. Just be mindful of the frustrating elements. I know Inuyasha is not a perfect show, okay? I just loved it. But uh, there's a lot to love as well, like so much. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my art videos and you can be notified anytime I go live. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again with more content once I revisit the surface. Bye!